Hello, it is Thursday and happy November 7th, 2024. We are so excited that you're here listening to the Biblically Centered Kids podcast. This is Mr. Johnny and Miss Danica. And we are super pumped that you are here with us today for our episode. Today is New New Testament Testament Thursday. Thursday. We will be reading a story from the New Testament in the Bible that illustrates this week's biblical family virtue. The New Testament contains stories about Jesus' life and some letters and stories from his disciples after Jesus went back to heaven. The Bible is a book given to us from God that tells us all about him. When we read it, we can discover what he's done in the past and then learn what he has to say to us today. So let's discover God's word where we find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our creator. We've been talking a lot about serving this week. If you remember Virtue S, it says, We seize opportunities to serve others, putting their needs above our own. Serving others means looking for ways to help, even when it's not easy or convenient. In the Bible, we see so many examples of people who went out of their way to help others. One special story is about four friends who worked together to serve someone in need and brought him to Jesus. Let's see how their loving actions showed the importance of serving others and how Jesus responded to their faith. One day, Jesus was teaching in a house in the town of Capernaum. The house was packed. So many people had heard about Jesus that there was no room left, not even outside the door. Everyone wanted to hear Jesus speak and see him perform miracles. Inside, Jesus was sharing about God's love and teaching the people. Meanwhile, four men were helping their friend who couldn't walk. He was paralyzed, Paralyzed. and they had heard that Jesus could heal people. These friends loved their paralyzed friend and wanted to serve him by taking him to Jesus, hoping that he could make him well. But when they arrived at the house, they saw a huge crowd. They couldn't get anywhere near the door because it was so packed. Instead of giving up, the friends came up with a plan. Aha! They climbed up to the roof of the house. Carefully, they made an opening in the roof, and then they lowered their friend on his mat right in front of Jesus. They didn't let the crowd stop them because they were determined to serve their friend and get him the help he needed. When Jesus saw what the friends had done, he was amazed at their faith and their willingness to serve. He looked at the paralyzed man and said, Son, your sins are forgiven. Some religious leaders sitting nearby were shocked and didn't believe Jesus had the power to forgive sins. They started questioning Jesus in their hearts, but Jesus knew what they were thinking. Jesus said to them, Which is easier, to say to the paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk? To show them that he had the power to forgive sins, Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. And that's exactly what happened. The man stood up, picked up his mat, and walked out in front of everyone. The people were amazed. They praised God, saying, we have never seen anything like this. This story shows us the power of serving others with love and faith. The four friends didn't let anything stop them from helping their friend and bringing him to Jesus. Their faith and determination made a huge difference in his life, both physically and spiritually. Just like these friends, we can serve others by helping, caring, and showing kindness, even in those times when it's difficult. Jesus calls us to serve others because when we do, we are showing the world God's love. As Jesus said in Mark 10, verse 45, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. When we serve others, we're following Jesus' example and showing the world what it means to love like he does. Let's pray. God, thank you for this amazing story that shows not only Jesus' power, but also how important it is to put others before oneself. Help us to be great friends and to look for ways to help those around us. Give us opportunities to serve others starting this week. We want to show you in real and tangible ways. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, let's continue to look for ways that we can serve others this week. 
And don't forget to have your mom or dad visit biblicallycentered.com for some fun downloads about this week's virtue. We are so glad you joined us in the New Testament today. Until next time. Thank you.